Hi guys, hope you are doing well. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create some basic diagram in Grasshopper. Ladybug tools uh, will be used in this tutorial and you could easily download and install it via the link in the caption below. Ok, let's start this uh, tutorial, go to Ladybug tab and panel to select Ladybug thumbpants and put it on the Grasshopper canvas, wherever you wish. In Ladybug tools components, uh, there is an underscore either before or after the name of uh, each uh, input. When it is located at the left side of uh, the input name, data must be defined for that uh, input. When it is located after the input name, it is optional and a default value is assigned to the input. Here, the only essential input data is location. Indeed, uh, we need a location to try some pass diagram by using Ladybug. Go to panel 0, input, and select Ladybug downloads weather. This component downloads a weather file. Then from the first output of this component, we could use EPW file. To see EPW map in a web browser and download a weather, File, you need another component named Ladybug EPW Map. Let me explain it more. Ladybug EPW Map opens the world map in your web browser. This map includes a large number of EPW files. You have to copy the URL address of your EPW file and connect it to Ladybug Download Weather. The title is needed to run the Ladybug EPW map. Double click on the Grasshopper canvas, right uh, toggle, and select a Boolean toggle. Boolean toggle allows you to change uh, the setting between true and uh, false. You know, without this component, the Grasshopper will open the web browser. Um, each time you open the current uh, file, while you just need that once, and after that, uh, you could assert the EPW file on your computer to use uh, in the future. Furthermore, uh, when you want to analyze the daylight performance of a kinetic facade, you will need to run a large number of simulations, which takes a long time. Just imagine at each simulation run, this component wants to connect to the internet. So when you download your EPW file, you need to change the Boolean toggle to false. Don't forget that. Indeed, this component makes your job faster and easier. Here I want to click on this button and change it to true. Then we will copy the URL address into a panel. If you have an internet connection, you will see this page on your web browser. This is uh, the EPW map that we talked about uh, earlier. Now you should find your city on the map and download its uh, EPW file. I'm originally from Tehran, but now I want to download the weather file of uh, Tabriz. Um, it's a beautiful city in the northwest of uh, Iran. This should be the location of your case uh, model. Click on the name of the city and copy link to clipboard. Get back to the grasshopper, double click on the grasshopper canvas, write quotation, write panel and paste the address uh, in it. Connect the panel to the weather URL. It's okay. You may see an error here when the color of your component becomes red. You know, uh, sometimes the PW files don't work well and you should try another city. Um, so just need to search the map again and download the weather file of another city. Um, this could be a city with a similar climate. Let's work on Grasshopper. 
You could also define a specific address on your computer to save the PW file. Use this input to do that. I suggest you to use FinePass component. After connecting the URL address to Ladybug Download Weather component, double click on the Grasshopper Canvas, write FinePass, and put it on the canvas. Now connect PW to the file pass. Now the file pass enclose your EPW file. Don't forget to change the boolean toggle to false. When you want to reopen your current Grasshopper file later, your web browser will not open and shows EPW map again. Right click on file pass and then internalize data. Now it is disconnected from the Ladybug Download Weather component. The file pass component now consists of the PW file and we could use it in our algorithm. Here we need a component to extract the location from the EPW file. Go to Panel, Zero, Import, Ladybug Import Location, put it on the Grasshopper Canvas. Get uh, EPW file from the file pass and connect location to the location of uh, Ladybug SumPass diagram. As immediately as you connect location to the Ladybug SumPass, you could see its diagram on Rhino scene. It's really easy. You can see. The scale of this component set out to be changed. It's crystal clear. And um, let me first uh, give you an explanation of each input of uh, Ladybug Sound Pass uh, component. North, you know, you could define your north direction, but default is the positive direction of y axis. It is highly suggested don't change the north direction unless you have to do that. Hours of years, here you could uh, select your time pattern and define a specific time. Again, go to Ladybug tab, panel 1, analyze data, Ladybug calculate hours of year and put it on the grasshopper canvas. Connect hours of year to hours of year. Change uh, the name of uh, each uh, number slider and connect them to months, day, and hour to define a time pattern. It's really useful to change uh, the name of uh, these uh, number sliders because we could use them in optimization process in the future. In that uh, process, you need to connect your number sliders uh, to the optimization uh, component. You could select, uh, for example, 1 to 3 for day, for months uh, 1 to 12, and uh, for hours uh, from, for example, 7 to 17. You just need to double click on the canvas and write 7.18. So you have a number slider with a specific domain. It starts from 7 until 18. And again, change its name. Here, you should consider this point that whether you have a sun at this time or not. Uh, maybe we could uh, see sun at 8 a.m. Let me change the scale. The scale of our sun pass diagram. I think uh, 0 0.05 is too big, I need, it's okay, it's somewhere, 0 0.11 is good. You could change the scale of some pass diagram around the center point. Pay attention to that. This is our original point, 0, 0, 0. Um, You could also define uh, a different uh, point. Let me show you here. Go to top view. Uh, put a point on Rhino scene, go to Geometry tab, select Point Component, right click, set one point, and select the point on Rhino scene. It is better to internalize this point and delete the point on the Rhino scene. Now connect the point to center point. You can see this is the center point of our diagram. And uh, you could change it when uh, Gumball is activated. 
and move the point on Rhino scene. Go to display tab to active gumball if you cannot uh, see arrows. Gumball will show the three arrows on your object that makes it easy to move and transform your geometry. It's really useful. Use it in your project. Okay. Here Gumball allows us to change uh, the center point of the sun pass uh, diagram as you can see it uh, here. Okay, this is our sun pass diagram and we could change uh, its uh, center point, the scale. Here we also have uh, defined uh, a time. As you can see it here, we can change the time, months, day and hour. You could change months, day yeah, and hour. This point shows uh, the sun location on the diagram. The other saving is related to the daylight uh, saving. Solar time is different from standard uh, time. Um, this is uh, related to solar time and in grasshopper standard time is used and uh, you don't need uh, to change it. We have talked about center point and uh, scale. Projection. Projection provides us uh, with a projection of the sky dome hemisphere to the 2D plane. It's an interesting idea to use this uh, to have some attractive graphical presentation of your project. If all is done, that means uh, a 3D diagram. You could have either an uh, orthographic or stratigraphic projection of uh, your uh, sky dome hemisphere. Write their name on a panel and connect it to the projection. Just hold the mouse cursor and the projection to read its definition. You could do the same with other components to learn their functions. Let me show you these two 2D projections of the SkyDom hemisphere. Write their name on a panel and connect them to projection. It's really easy, it's not difficult. You could have uh, two panels for each of them and you could change uh, the color of the panel from here to have different color for them. Connect the panel to projection to see the 2D diagram. As you can see it on Rhino scene. Go to top view to better see them. Now let's try stratigraphic projection. It's good. It's beautiful. The other inputs of this component, Lady by Sampas diagram, aren't important for us. It's time to talk about the outputs of uh, this uh, component. If you have an error, you could see that uh, here and out. This, the first output of this component uh, gives you more information about uh, the error. Vector is the vector of sun that hits uh, the center uh, point. Let me show you. This vector starts uh, from the center of uh, sun. You could see this vector on the Rhino scene by using the vector display uh, component. Connect the center point to the anchor. Here, you can see the sun vector. The red vector is uh, the sun vector. We will use this vector to make the dynamic facades responsive to the sun's uh, position. We can calculate the angle between the projected line of uh, this vector uh, with uh, the lines uh, that uh, perpendicular uh, to the facade. I have a tutorial about making a facade responsive to the sun's position. You can watch it from here. The second and third outputs give you the altitude and azimuth of the sun at a given time. Hours of years means hours of year, and sun point means sun point, which is the exact location of the sun on the diagram, as you can see it here. The color of the sun point uh, in the rhino scene changes uh, into green, this point. 
You could also go to Surface tab and select the sphere. Put it on the canvas, connect point to the base, and give a number to radius to change it. The default value is uh, 1, I think uh, 0 0.6 is fine. Now this number side allows you to change uh, the scale of uh, the sphere that is representative of uh, the sun. Let's continue with the other outputs of the Sampas uh, diagram component. Analema daily and compass are differences of curves on the diagram. In fact, you could separate each curve and give them uh, multiple colors. It is really useful in having a different graphical presentation of your projects. If you defined a legend at the input, you could have it here. Title is the name of the given city in this algorithm, as you can see it here. Capris. Okay, go to geometry and put uh, the curve uh, component and the grasshopper canvas here. Okay. And also for daily, and you could copy that and connect compass to it. Oh, we have an error. This is because compass is a combination of lines and text. So, we have to use a data component in a set of a curve. It's okay, you can see. Now we have uh, different uh, sets of uh, curves on this uh, diagram. Let me explain it more. These curves are analemma. Okay? By using uh, this component, later by calculate uh, hours of year, uh, we could change uh, the location of sun on these uh, curves, as you can see. When you change the months, the uh, sun location will change on the analemma curves. Okay. Daily shows the sun location in the diagram at each hour. So we could go to Ladybug calculate hours of year and you can see these green curves show the sun's pass in the sky through hours waiting a day and by changing uh, the number side related to hours of year actually about hours you can change it. The sun uh, is in the sky until 5 on this day. It's good, it's okay. Okay, you could uh, now change uh, the color of uh, these anchors. Analema and daily. Go to display tab, preview and select custom preview. Here. Custom preview, put it on the canvas. Connect here to geometry. Here a material is needed which is only related to the color of uh, these uh, lines in the Rhino scene. Go to Prompts tab, Input, and put the Color Swatch component on the canvas. Left click on the Color section of Color Swatch and change its color. It's really easy. This color is changed to blank and I will change it to blue. Okay, that's good. You could do the same with uh, other uh, curves. Make a copy of this component and use it for daily. Change its color. For example, use green color. It's good. It's good. You could also change the color of the sphere, which reflects the sun's location. Let 
me do that. These two simple components enable you to change the color of different uh, objects and your uh, grasshoppers. And you can see the changes in the Rhino scene. They're really useful. Use them on your projects. Okay, it's good color for the sun. Um, you cannot use the same method to change uh, the color of uh, compass since uh, it includes both uh, curves and uh, text. You need to use uh, components related to the text. I will talk about them um, in the future. See, it doesn't work. Nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you for watching this uh, video. I'm Mahdi Ali Sabar, a PhD student at Queensland University of Technology in Brisbane. Currently, I'm researching advanced control strategies uh, for kinetic uh, facades. I uh, want to share with you my experience as a researcher uh, in Australia. Besides, uh, I'm so willing uh, to provide you with some educational tutorials about designing, controlling, and performing analysis of uh, kinetic facades. If you are interested in this topic or doing uh, a research uh, program uh, in Australia, this is the best channel for you. Please follow me and I say to you.